Starbucks is considering quitting Facebook and its page with 35 million followers because of the hate speech responses to its post. Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. Today is Sunday, so you get to hear my original voice again, not the computer animated one that I have been using. Now, there is a lot of controversy between my voice and using the computer one. I am wanting to buy audio software, and once I get a donation or someone supports, then I will do that. To date, there hasn't been any support or donations. Now, there are ways to do that. You can look in the description and provide some help. Anyway, before we get started, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Now, when I first saw this article, I thought, oh wow, Starbucks is quitting Facebook. And I thought they're going to pull the ads. They have some kind of beef with Facebook, which is a good thing because we all know that Facebook is notorious for censoring people and censoring different groups. But after reading the article, that wasn't the case. But it was still a hilarious thing because what the article is saying is that so many people do not like the direction that Starbucks is going with their post on Facebook that they leave negative remarks. And we're going to get into that. The article further says, Starbucks Facebook page is followed by 35 million people. The company promotes its beverages and thanks its staff and community. On the site, it also highlights social issues like BLM protests and anti-Asian hate. An internal memo obtained by BuzzFeed showed Starbucks concern with site. Executives at Starbucks were said to be considering shutting the page. They objected to the hateful comments left beneath some of their posts. So let's read some of the things that are happening on Facebook at Starbucks page. Here is a post by Starbucks. It says, we stand united with our Asian, Asian American and Pacific Islander partners, employees and customers who are experiencing ongoing racism and increased in violent attacks. Yesterday's shooting in Georgia are a horrific tragedy and the latest instance of hate. We grieve alongside the AAPI communities. Hashtag stop Asian hate. And here is another post. I think it's related to the George Floyd verdict. It says, while today's verdict is a step forward in accountability, until we confront the ugly realities and root causes of what led to us to this day, our people, our nation will always fall short of the full potential. Kevin Johnson, CEO. Now, here is some of the responses from people online. This one is from them, someone named Ruth. It says, I have not gone into a Starbucks in over a year. I used to go at least two or three times a week. I got completely fed up with their pushing their agenda down my throat. Love the employees, but Starbucks itself, it loves me spending my money there. But being a hardworking, self-sufficient person, nah, does not love me so much. Here is another comment. It says, Starbucks, congrats, you just lost a customer. Good, you're holding up the line, move. Another comment says, I always look for commentary on current events from a coffee company. And someone replied to that person saying, and I always look for unwanted and bigoted opinions from a white guy. So we can see just by the comments, there is a big division between the comments people are making. Some people do not want the company to be making political statements and other people probably just don't mind it. Here we have a picture of their headquarters where they're flying the pride flag over the building. Now my thoughts are this. One, I don't want a coffee company to be getting involved in social issues, especially because there is so much division in the political issues. And so you're going to make someone angry. I think you shouldn't take a side, maybe just include everyone together. And that leads me to your flag. Now, the pride flag is something that does divide people because there is a big majority of people that don't agree with that. And why not fly the American flag? The American flag is the one that is supposed to include everyone. And America is the place where you're making all of the money, right? So why not fly that flag instead? 
Well, those are my opinions and my comments. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.